I understand that you are only doing what you think is right. But you need to understand that you are part of a team. And that team has rules. Unauthorized entry into Zone 09. Conducting an extrajudicial investigation. And unauthorized use of a legion. These actions are clearly insubordination. You'll remain in there until we determine a proper sentence. up for insubordination, huh? What were you doing out there? Huh. Something you can't even tell me about, then. Ah, uh, well. Here's some advice. As your brother. Try and think a little before you act from now on, okay? Don't make me worry about you. Hmm. I guess I'm one to talk, huh? But you don't need to worry anymore. Thanks to the Commander, I'm good as new. Better, even. And did you see my new Legion? Cool, huh? They got the lab up and running again. And I'm helping test out the latest version. They say they reinforced the restraints, too. Considering what happened to the last batch of Legions. It feels like I'm really in control. Like the Legion and I are one body. So, hey, that takes some pressure off you. We can fight together from now on. The commander really is a genius. Thanks to him, we can work together again. All we have to do is believe in him and follow orders. <sighs> Hell of a time for you to go and get yourself locked up. You can be a real pain, you know that? But you have had a lot on your plate lately. Maybe this is a good chance to get some rest and cool down a bit. Just, uh, keep your nose clean for a while, all right? Hey, can you hear me? This is a private channel. I wish I could do something to help you, but this is out of my hands. You're, um, actually getting off pretty easy, really. And I'm so, so glad you're okay. Oh, oh and try to go easy on the crazier stuff from now on, okay? Wow, you're really looking out for him, even at a time like this. He was, uh, not as lucky as you are. They kicked him out. The Brass are saying the whole thing was his idea, and he tricked you into playing along. I hear there's a warrant out for his arrest, but nobody can even find him. He probably figured they wouldn't just leave it at firing him, and ran away before it got worse. They're also charging him with unauthorized access to confidential information. Not surprising, but he... Anyway, if you hear from him, let me know, okay? I'll keep it between us. Hang in there. I'll call if anything comes up. Yo, I just finished whipping up some anti-trace encoding so I could call you. I heard you got arrested. This is all my fault. I'm so, so sorry for dragging you into all this. But, for what it's worth, Neuron... Hell, the whole Union government knows they need you. Everyone needs you. They won't keep you locked up for long. Oh, me? Um, I thought it'd be best to disappear for a while. 
I've had lots of research to keep me busy, though. If I find any new developments in our investigation, I'll let you know. Oh, uh, one more thing. All I've heard are rumors, but they don't sound like anything good. Watch out for the crows. Remember that. I'll, I'll be in touch. Roger, Alicia. All nearby officers, head over to support Alicia ASAP. Jin here. All available units are out dealing with the Chimeric outbreak. Sorry, but we've got our hands full right now. Oh, jeez. Sorry, Alicia. Do you think you can handle the egg yourself? Copy. Shizu's with me. It shouldn't be a problem. Confident, aren't we? Alicia, Shizu, what happened? Please, respond. It's Jenna. Commander, let us handle this. Us? I'm sure you can handle this on your own. Sir, this is an emergency. We could really use her help. You heard that, I trust. I... I'm going to authorize your temporary release. Don't make me regret this. Get yourself ready and report to the highway. <sighs> Here's your second chance. Better seize it. We can't spare much time. I'm going on ahead. I'll see you there. I like how even our casual outfit that we're just hanging around in while in jail is still just leggings and jorts. Uh, so we're going to clean the Legion off. Actually, I think we can go a mission without doing it. It's long, and I don't feel like cutting. Uh, so, before we get over to the roof and take a helicopter into the city for this emergency, we have some non-emergency activities to take care of, namely talking to a couple people around Neuron HQ so they can give us things. Things like maybe more jorts. Because you see, while spring will surely bring the birds and bees cavorting, I am a gentleman, so I'd much rather be jorting. Aw, oh, let's talk to Lappy. You know, it feels like it's been so long since I posted a video. I haven't posted a video all decade. This year is called Hindsight, because it's 2020. I'm getting them all out. You can't stop me! I'm a joke criminal now. That's what I was in jail for. Gotta get them all in. Uh, so... It's a shame that we didn't actually get any voiceover, uh voice overed Lappy dialogue there. I always enjoy hearing Marie's voice and Lappy's. I was reading this post on Platinum's blog about uh, localizing Lappy, actually. And you know how Japanese mascot characters usually have their little verbal tics or like idiosyncrasies that make them more like larger than like cartoon characters? Well, Lappy in Japanese does actually have that. Um, Lappy's voice actor or actress ends all of their lines with like this little P sound, like Lappy. And the localization lead on Astral Chain wanted to give English Lappy that same kind of flavor on top of having uh, Marie's and Lappy's voice actress playing this coy little double role. Uh, so while it wasn't in the script, they tried having her read lines in different accents and using different, like, affectations. Uh, and it was the voice actress, actually, Cassandra Lee Morris, 
who eventually just went for this kind of exaggerated southern U.S. accent and some of the mannerisms associated with that. I, and I learned something actually a little bit cooler than that. Something that made me realize I, that I haven't really ever paid too much attention to some of the graffiti and all of the signage that you see around uh, the various sectors of the arc. And it's what gives it a slightly more like international melting pot flavor. Uh, things aren't just in Japanese or English. Uh, and things aren't even just tuned to whichever language setting you have the game on. Uh, no matter what language you're playing on, there are apparently signs in Arabic, in Russian, in Korean, and Chinese, too, all around uh, the arc. So I'll try to keep a closer eye out for that. That's just some cool little world-building flavor. Of which there's a surprising amount in Astral Chain. Like, I still think plotting and, like, just general um, narrative chops are Platinum's weakest point by far in almost every game and I certainly still think that's the case in Astral Chain but there's a lot of cool world building and setting stuff uh, like the conversation that we had with Hal when we were tracking Douglas that revealed that the police just have everybody's DNA on file and can call that up whenever they need to and that's what uh, Yamper tracks characters based upon. It's just a sampling of their DNA, not their actual scent or anything. Uh, but now that we have gone and collected everything that we need from the Ark... Oh shit, it's not Lappy, it's just Marie. You're cleared for takeoff anytime. Are you all... Roger that. Make us all proud. And into the city for the mission proper we go. on our temporary leave from jail. <laughs> So, Jorts enthusiast Akira okay, Howard okay. returns to the beginning of the game. It's like a much more discordant version of the Mega Man X intro stage highway. I think that will always be the iconic highway level for me. Was mid attack. Should have just dodged away. I'm picking up a high energy reading from the homunculus. It's about to fire. Get out of the way. Hurry. We packed ourselves back here into a little bit of a corner, but it's totally fine. We're not going to get fired on again. I do love this swath of destruction it carves through the street, like this molten red channel. 
Can I reflect this with the Arm Legion? I feel like there is something, something more you can do with the transportation truck. But I don't remember what, aside from just evade, like this. I could have sworn there was something with the Arm Legion or maybe the Arrow Legion. So we have a third hum uh, homunculus. I think this is... No, this isn't Delta, right? Delta's the one... Mm, well, let me hold that in my pocket. Either way, it's a scripted sequence in which the homunculus just escapes. And we're going to have to keep tracking it down through Zone 36, Central City. First, though, goodies. A lot of medicine and an AED charge. Along with Alicia, who was injured, Shizu, and Akira. Oh, shit. I thought that was another unvoiced bit, but it was just delayed. Save these two on my own. Uh, they took a pretty big tumble down the stairs, but they're both all right. Jenna was already gone by the time I showed up. I think the homunculus is following her. That sounds like a safe bet. I'll try and track them from here. I'm glad to hear everyone's okay. A medical chopper is on its way over for Alicia and Shizu. Try and catch up to Jenna and the homunculus once it gets there. Roger. All right. Who knows how much time we have? We can get started quicker if we split up. I'll get these two to the medics. You go on ahead. Really like the synths here. And this great big pull away to reveal uh, the larger harpy chimera. I'm picking up a huge energy reading. It must be the homunculus. It's heading towards Main Street. I'm not getting any signal that looks like Jenna, so focus on the homunculus for now. So we actually Don't have... think you can expect any backup Oops. from the others on this one. You may have some help from the local police. So we have two really large uh, Chimera that we have to contend with. Or rather, two really large monsters. We have the uh, newest homunculus of Jenna's. And then we also have this larger harper, uh, harpy enemy with the black wings. This larger version of these, the, who are they, Arelos? Arelos? Which, we're gonna have to handle a few of these before we can move on properly. Ooh, why did Sword Legion not pop into the sky when I sent him after that harpy? just went straight forward towards the guardrail. No. Get a hit rush going and then bring another legion out. Whoops. This is like a frame or two off from the perfect dodge too. Blah. Oh yeah, we get this chain, uh, this sync attack. That's so fun. That finisher. I think they're pretty well gathered around, so the stun is going to hit all of them. Yeah. actually can get the dog into midair just the same way you do uh, the other floating legions. <laughs> and he does okay air to air, but nowhere near like the sword legion or the arm legion or even arrow legion up in the sky. That felt, that fight felt like it was taking a little bit long, so I'm surprised that was an S plus and not like an A or something. They give you quite a bit of leeway uh, whenever you have to deal with flying enemies, though. Whoops. Oh, he was looking over a barrel. That stunned me when I hit it. Oh, well, that's not going to be a big deal at all. Holy shit, he exploded into digital confetti before I could finish him. Something else coming in? No, he's just gonna 
hang out on the stick. No. Didn't get stunned that time. Generous iframes. It felt like. How do we get around to that? Is there an opening behind the stairs here? Ah, uh, correct. Cool. I don't remember. Oh, it's the square glasses. I think it might be getting to be time for me to change my outfit next time I'm back at Neuron. Always keeping in mind the jorts, though. The jorts must be eternal. We might even make our own new pair of jorts. Uh, we just have to remember a few key rules. One, we must never ever bleed on the jorts or the jeans that we are to make into jorts, uh, or the consequences could be dire. And also, we must never jort a gene before it's time, for that is the greatest sadness. Be careful not to hit him. Well, that's going to keep being a penalty. I was trying to send uh, the Legion after that Harpy in midair to then auto-bind in midair. That didn't work out super well. Hmm. I don't remember the right way to do this. I think I have to shoot him with the arrow? Or, I mean, not him, but the Harpy without hitting him. This is actually the Renoa and Adele situation. Yeah, and headshots. Okay, good. Drop. That's still gonna tank my ranking for this mission. Both in how long that took, and also all the penalties I racked up. Ah, yeah, I should be using the Arm Legion against these way more. That might have also helped, too. Uh, I think I could have, because the way the Arm Legion works when you uh, send him after an enemy is he drags the enemy back to you, which is one really helpful little slightly uh, less explained function of the Arm Legion is acting just as Scorpion's hook so carried away with observing chimeras, I got careless. But what a thrill, getting to see those magnificent talons up close. Left at the whims of those powerful wings. Lifted up like a scrap of paper. Such power in such a small frame. I I'd love to see their giant black-winged leader. Uh, but I'm still not sure that would be worth dying for. I'll be more cautious. That guy's really odd. And I don't just mean what he's saying, but the delivery is a little stilted, too. Take this! Oh god, it's Alan King. A knight of great renown. Or maybe a king of great renown. Oh no, whatever will we do? This is gonna require a lot of a lot of thought. We're gonna have to to noodle this one over about how we're gonna save Alan King. This is gonna do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.